the Samsung Galaxy A80 has been listed on the Samsung India website, detailing specifications and features which hints at India launch of Samsung Galaxy A80. The company itself has confirmed the Galaxy A80 would be launched in India in May which is overdue so we will get to see it soon and it's likely to be available in stores by June 15th. And as for pricing, it's said to cost 44,990 Indian rupees. Now you know the date and the pricing, let me tell you some specifications just to give you an idea of what it packs. Samsung A80 has some unique set of features. So first, let's start with the design. It has a full screen display without any notch and uses a rotating camera module to use the same rear cameras to act as a selfie camera that rotates 180 degrees from back to the front and it bears a glass body with metal frame for premium look but is incapable of wireless charging. As for display, the Samsung Galaxy E80 sports a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio. It also hosts an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor beneath the display. This device uses a display technology to produce audio through the display instead of earpiece grill. Samsung Galaxy A80 is powered by 1.7 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor that features two cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and six cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. If you want to know everything about Snapdragon 730G, then check out this video. This smartphone will come in one variant only with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Samsung Galaxy A80 has an innovative camera mechanism that delivers the same triple camera experience with the same high resolution lenses for both front and rear. When users select the selfie mode in the camera application, the three cameras automatically pop up from the back of the phone and rotate. While the main camera is 48 megapixel with f2.0 aperture, the ultra wide has 8 megapixel and the time of flight depth camera that offers live focus video by scanning objects for measurement and depth and has a variety of uses as well. It packs 3700 mAh battery and gets a 25W fast charging in the box. It has a USB Type-C port at the bottom but the phone misses out on a 3.5mm headphone jack. It runs on Android 9 Pie based on Samsung's One UI and it comes in three color options Phantom Black, Angel Gold, Ghost White. Now that we know the specs, let me tell you the pros and the cons. The display is awesome, I don't need to tell you anything about that. Audio through display instead of earpiece is another thing that I liked. By using this technology, it becomes easier to hear audio by touching your ear anywhere on the screen. Next, we have time of flight depth sensor, makes using camera fun, you can do a lot of things with time of flight sensor, in addition to that the Samsung camera packs a lot of features. Now coming to cons, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner in general does not perform that well and sometimes it's also inaccurate which is annoying. The exclusion of SD card expansion slot and a 3.5mm headphone jack disappoints me. And lastly the price, it's a bit higher and at that price point some other smartphones offer lucrative specs. So to sum it up, if you are loyal to Samsung brand and want only Samsung smartphone to use, then this has got you covered. Or else there are options like Zenfone 6, Redmi K20 series, Lenovo Z6 series and few others. With that, we are at the end of this video and I hope you liked it. If so, then subscribe and like this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.